you think of the Yukon, you think of gold miners, you think of great people, you think of uh, outstanding politicians, actually, both uh, territorial and Canada-wide representing the federal government. But a lot of people of a certain age remember this guy as one of the most uh, handsome, rugged, and consistent defensemen of his era. Now, today we're going to be talking about someone that may have been forgotten, but one of the best names in hockey history, Brian Baltimore, or B-R-Y-O-N. Brian, but with a Y instead of an I. Now, Brian, or Brian, Donald Baltimore, born on my birthday, not uh, uh, not the birth date, but my birthday, August 26, 1952, in Whitehorse, Yukon, played the NHL and the WHA. Now, he first uh, came to major prominence with, of all squads, University of Alberta and the CIAU. He was one of, considered one of the best university skaters in that area. He had 23 points in 35 games in 71. <coughs> including eight goals. In 1972, uh, yeah, career season in CIEU, 34 games, 28 points, 23 assists. He finally graduated to the Springfield Kings of the AHL, his rookie campaign, dynamite numbers, 27 points in 73 games. And now, he was known as a roving kind of offensive-defensive uh, rear guard. Second campaign was more defensive side, 25 points in 68 games. But in 1975, he had his big break. He decided to sign with the Chicago Cougars of the WHA, 20 points in 77 games, and into a playoff run where he went deep. He had uh, probably uh, one of his best campaigns ever in a short uh, series of games, 16 points in 12 games, including 7 goals. Now, 76 it was a weird campaign. He played with the Denver Spurs and the Ottawa Civics for most of the season, getting 9 points in 41 games. Then... Switched off the Indy Racers where he had 11 points in 37 games. 77 still with the Racers, 15 points in 55 games. 78 split time between uh, the Stingers and the Indianapolis Racers, 50 games, uh, 19 points, 3 goals. 79 again split time between the Stingers and the Racers. Uh, he actually played 83 games that season, 9 goals, uh, 13 assists for 22 points. Now, 79 80 was a weird uh, situation. Uh, in these league's ensuing dispersal draft, he was picked up by the Edmonton Oilers, who were trying a lot of young players in their first season. Now, he did play two games with them in 1979-80, but played the majority of the campaign with their affiliate, the Houston Apollos of the CHL, 26 points in 61 games. Now, his last uh, minor pro season was with a very popular Wichita Wind in 1981, 11 points in 56, 46 games, and uh, 8 points points in 16 uh, playoff contests. Now, uh, according to various published reports, he's one of only two native-born Yukoners to ever play in the AHL. Now, uh, Jarrett Dooling, which uh, uh, played in 15 games with the New York Islanders, he was a 56 overall draft pick by the Islanders and eventually uh, played the majority of his career in minor pro, but again played more than a dozen games with the Islanders. But what's interesting about Brian, a lot of people know this already, what do you think he did after hockey? Did he become a coach or a scout or whatever? No, uh, he probably learned by playing with Gretzky and all those great players at WHA. He became a litigation lawyer in Edmonton. And he stayed in his uh, new home and uh, McQuaid Dorochery LLP. So from what I heard through the grapevine, if he needed a good lawyer, uh, he was pretty good. And you can imagine, he said, oh, what did you do uh, in your previous career? Well, I was a strong defenseman for uh, almost a half dozen major pro teams. But he was a, he was a fan favorite because, you know, he looked, he looked like Grizzly Adams a little bit. But his personality was good with his fans, good with his teammates, a very cerebral guy. You cannot be a lawyer unless you have a brain in your head. So Brian Baltimore, again, one of the greatest names in hockey history, did a lot of his career. Uh, Alberta CIAU, a tremendous uh, squad. And, you know, uh, UConn is, for most people, is two to 3,000 miles away in Canada. So ended up being in Alberta, ended up being in Chicago. Uh, I can imagine the dressing room. He was taping up in first game Chicago. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from, I'm from you know Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Where are you from? Oh, from PI. Where are you from? Yukon. Where is that? You know, 
I wish it was a Byron Baltimore country uh, country song. The man from the Yukon, the, like the, the the ice star from the Yukon. I'd love to hear that, like a bluegrass song. So if you had any, uh, any connection with Brian Baltimore, if you met him or you followed him, let us know with a like, comment, or subscribe. Please also let us know if there are any other players from that Wichita Wind era, University of Alberta area you'd like us to cover. We've done a few. So uh, we have good luck with our Alberta podcast. Thanks for listening. As we like to say in Vegas after game two, seriously? Anyway, have a good day. Bye.